What is up everybody, Bob here. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Ball Raging Blast. And if you're wondering why I'm showing my face so early, it's because I want to address the, a thing that I talked about in one of the prior videos while we're going over the whole Frieza thing. So, uh, yes, I have the game up in the background to clarify that this is in fact a Let's Play, but I figured I may as well go ahead and bring this up. So, I mentioned last time that David Mills turns up, uh, might have been a bit of a sex pest. Now, there's been updates to the story. And in the interest of keeping you guys informed, I figured I'd just go ahead and cover the outline of this and then get into some other stuff. Also, no, I'm not gonna make a thing of this. I'm only addressing this now because it's directly Dragon Ball Z related since we're talking about it. And I'm not interested in making this a drama channel. I don't give two fucks, but this is pertinent to what we're talking about. So last time I mentioned David Mills turned out, uh, turned out to be a little bit of a sex pest. Now, the reason being is because there was a story dropped in March 8th I feel like it was later than that, weird, that uh, David Mills was doing some things uh, a few years ago, around like 2014, 2015. To give you broad strokes, basically if you just read his first paragraph here, essentially what happened was that he was uh, groping a dude who non-consensually and literally masturbated next to him while he was sleeping. Hmm. Yeah, that's not weird. And apparently this was, like, this was like one dude. There might be more for all, I know, for all we know, who the fuck knows. Originally, I thought this was a one and done. But no, there there actually have been updates. Thanks to me asking Brandon about this. So, here's what we know. So, 3... Okay, 3 14, 2022 The alleged victim has retracted his accusations and issued the following statement to the AMI News Network. Uh, at this time, I wish to permanently retract my statements and allegations regarding David Mills. I wish to apologize for potential harm it I may have caused uh, anyone involved with or affected by this incident, if you think of understanding. And then three days later, Duncan has told Ami News Network that the allegations he made against Damon Mills were fabricated. Right, so. I guess Damon's uh, redeemed, yeah? Certainly did get the thing Vic didn't get. So, what? why would I address this? Well, there were a few outlying details that bother me and I was discussing this with Brandon like something just didn't sit right so I'm going to do a thing I'm gonna play a game with you guys while I'm wearing these sunglasses I am in speculation mode nothing I say should be taken at face value every these are just details that are outlying that I feel like I should address okay so all this being said there are some things that bother the fuck out of me so uh, I was discussing this with Brandon uh, let's see. The first, we're gonna go just in, in descending order from least bothersome to most bothersome. The first being, Damon hasn't addressed the accusations publicly. That's not too big a deal. It just feels really weird. This was severely under wraps. This was not a pu big public thing. Second is that the story is way too detailed and nuanced to not have any credibility behind it for it to be deliberately fabricated. That might sound really weird. Uh, I said it especially because of these like text messages down here. Like, I've looked at these for a while, and honest to God, they do not really look photoshopped. Like, I'm not a forensics expert, but, like, I can't see much in terms of, like, like that could be shopped. Personally speaking. And, like, I've read the bulk of this. This is some detailed shit. Like, this is not something you can just make up out of the ether. Like, this is way too detailed. But the third is that the response from the guy is very lawyer speak uh especially suspicious given that you know the silence of the story upon first revealing this is super lawyer speak like i would like to permanently retract my statements and allegations regarding damon mills that's very lawyer-esque i get why but considering that the only thing we knew about this was that damon was lowering up against this and then the story went cold yeah and the last thing that's very bothersome, and I thank Brandon for pointing this out especially, is that the cease and desist was sent from Damon in February before this story was made public. If you were con to control F, cease and desist. Mills threw a cease and desist letter sent to alleged victim on February 2018. Alleged the relationship was consensual. Da, 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 da. So that's not weird. Uh, the, this And the public story is made public in March. I don't know. There's a lot of things here that just don't sit right with me. There's a lot of like murkiness to the story. So, what am I saying? Uh, speculation is glasses off. So, what, what am I? What am I getting at? Well, 
Am I saying Damon is a sex pest? No, we don't have enough evidence one way or the other. I will say that this story definitely does not look good at all. Uh, if this results in Damon not being in a lot of uh, roles going forward for a while to, you know, stand our wraps, I would not be shocked. Uh, frankly, that might be best to uh, avoid some bad pub uh, public PR, but you know, it's whatever. That said, yeah. A lot of this doesn't look good. There's not enough to work with to make a concrete d decision, so whatever. I guess we'll drop it. But that being said, seeing this in the rear view mirror, pulling away from it, it's like... I'm not gonna forget this one. De definitely not forgetting this. Anyway, sorry. I had to bring it up because it was fascinating, and I figured I had to put the, the glasses on to really drive home the fact that, yeah, this is speculation. All right, so with that, let's get actually get into this bitch. <clears throat> and also one other thing, uh, YouTube chat is basically dead right now because of the fact that I'm recording this during the middle of the day. Usually I start recording at like five, six o'clock, like more late in the evening. Uh, I have a few, a little bit of time right now since Taylor was out of the apartment. That was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and record this game right now. And so that is where we currently are. So. Last time we got halfway through the uh, Cell Saga, and honestly, I think I kind of pieced together why this is going so slow. Well, okay. Initially, it looked like I could knock out an entire first arc, and then uh, did a movie, and then another arc following it, yeah? But then I actually did some number crunching, and it turns out, uh, no. Uh, the reason I didn't make much progress last time is because the arcs following the Sand Saga are actually kind of chunky. Uh, if you want to know how chunky they are, let me give you some numbers. So, Sand Saga, 10 missions. Nemec Saga, 26. That is a bump. Android Saga, 27. And then Boo Saga is 17. So, yeah, the Boo Saga and Nemec Saga are just fucking gigantic. Uh, the, what if, the What If Saga is uh, 18 missions, which is... I did not even got that much. And then the Bullet Saga is going to be 3. So, oh yeah, I'm Barnacles too, obviously. So, interesting. Um, <laughs> feels a bit lopsided, but I guess considering what we could have had otherwise, where a lot of the bulk was put into the uh, uh, Sand Saga, I think I'll take this because, frankly, yeah, that well for the Sand Saga just fucking dried, Jesus. All right, so let's go ahead and get this started. So, uh, once again, yet yeah, reiterating, yeah, chat's gonna be a little quiet for a while. Up until people started coming in because it gets later in the afternoon, whatever. So, uh, let's see, Android Saga. I luckily managed to find a good cutoff point last time, which just happens to be right when we introduce Cell. I feel very dumb and went on that tirade, uh, that little tangent about uh, Travis Willingham before he even showed up. So I guess consult that video for my opinions and the history as to why Travis Willingham was replaced with Cell. Uh, I found this one funny game facts board where someone was like, well, they've replaced, they most likely replaced Damian Clark because they didn't like his semi-perfect cell voice. That sounds more like a you thing, my dude, but all right. <laughs> so yeah, now we're actually getting to the fun bits of the show. And I have not gone back and done this mission again. That is hilarious. So what are the missions? Fish hard, knock your opponent down, perform super attack, and perform smash attack low from the rear. Okay, this is like, these missions are actually pretty easy. Uh, knock your opponent down, do his super attack, Basically hit him with a low sweep, and then you can like immediately do like a command may or something. Uh, perform smash attack low from the rear. Basically, I take that to mean like do a, a low sweep after doing a rolling hammer, and you pretty much got it. So let's go ahead and fire up the first one of the day. My hope is to maybe do the rest of the Android Saga. That's a weird looking. <laughs> Just the, sorry, the orientation of Cell and Seventeen over there. I thought they were initially on like one axis, but they're not. Uh, but my intention today is to maybe knock out the Cell Saga today. Um, let's see, maybe to start the Broly Saga. Uh, I'm thinking about using the Broly Saga as the actual jump from Cell to Boo. That'd be a little bit funny, considering that the Broly Saga has both missions from Cell, Cell Era and one from Boo Era. It's just kind of funny in that regard. Alright, let's go ahead and rock and roll. And you get to see how bad my Cell is because, oh man. You know, I really realized exactly one, one other thing that does bother me about this game. The smash attacks, because of the lack of, lack of hit stun, there really are just suggestions. Like, nothing... A lot of times, something that looks like it should combo just does not. 
And the whole pre-programmed smash attacks thing, or uh, pre-programmed uh, combo chains, it really makes the game feel like it's very on rails, you know what I mean? Like, these are the combos the game wants you to do. It's very robotic. Oh god, especially with this walk speed. Jesus, look at this. Alright. So yeah, Cell is unfortunately not amazing. I guess the fact that everyone has Rolling Hammer and a heavy finish does help him a good amount. Especially given that originally, if you watch the, the BT3 guide uh, for Cell, he doesn't have the best options in the world. Ow. Let's see if I can win this. Now, I don't remember if... Oh my god, fuck off. Yeah, exactly. Everything feels like suggestions. Jesus Christ. I got I got a shot for a uh, second so I can actually get these fucking requirements. Fucking manually, okay. Ah, I did not react to that. Fucking out! Oh my god! Out of hit son. Right. I don't think I'm gonna get that other requirement down. Oh wait. Do I even have Drain Life Cell with this form? I can't pause. I literally can't pause. I was literally hammering start. You can't pause while a super attack is active. Oh my god. Fun stuff. Oh wow, fully charged looks right because actually unblockable. God damn, this is uh a little bit brutal. Okay, so I don't know if I'm being bun red or not, but like nothing I do is is working. <laughs> No, if only the hits on this game was actually real. Oh my god. I was even trying to figure out if um, you can even just do heavy finish into um, Drain Life Cell. It did not work. Okay, wait until he's knocked down. Did not work. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Did I have enough key to even follow up afterwards? Holy shit. If I don't get this again, I'm just gonna do this on normal mode because holy shit, dude. Well, I guess I can try to do one thing. Well, let's hit from this angle? Yeah, because this game is weird. Okay, cool. Still the best fucking super cells ever been given. Oh my god, it's so cool. Alright, I would like to very much talk about how this is one of the coolest moments in the whole goddamn show, but that is unfortunately not an opportunity I'm being granted right now. Okay, there's one. Did a ch chain cancel into a snap? Oh my god. Are we having fun yet, kids? Oh, I do have a funny idea. Just doing this. I mean, the precedent's been set, may as well. Okay, yeah, Drain Life, Drain Life Cell does still actually net you HP back, but it's limited. Oh yeah, rest in peace, Ginger Town. Don't have to hold back. 
That- oh my god, that's a setup. Alright. Now, in terms of doing the other soup, the other star mission, I... Mm. Oh, no. That's gonna hit. I th it very nearly did. Can I frame trap him? I guess so. Okay, I was banking on him actually swinging there, so that way I can actually get this to come out. If you need a refresher, this is in fact the move that nearly killed Piccolo. Yeah, I, I'm still very much a fan of this one. Ooh! <laughs> Just fucking do it! Because they're fucking near instant, so you can just like, you fucking do it. This game is so dumb, oh my god. Look at all these instant advantages he's getting, holy shit, I can't undo these. I guess the only good thing is that the the only thing he's really able to hit me with is like the snaps. And that's not too big a deal. Oh, he's down. Okay, well I did miss the mission, but I guess I got the other one instead. Yeah, that felt nearly impossible considering the fact that I guess Piccolo Magic has like super armor while trying to turn around. <laughs> Yeah, it is still a bit of an ass pool that, I mean, Cell decided to actually reveal his secrets, given that literally Cell has Piccolo's DNA, he knows how he works, so, you know, the regeneration was always on the table. <laughs> and even then, one-armed Piccolo could probably fight Imperfect Cell no problem, so, weird. Wait, are we really... Oh! Oh, yeah, this is a flashback to that time, okay. Fish a little damage to the pull of all perfect actions. Well, I am not doing that. <laughs> no way. Do I want to try hard mode again? Uh, boy. Let's see how much of an issue Trunks poses. Yeah, we really are having a mission for uh, the flashback sequence with Trunks actually fighting and being murdered by Cell. And like, literally all we, we've seen of that fight is the fact that Trunks tried attacking him, and Cell immediately snapped his neck with his tail. That's all we got. I must fuse with Dr. Giro's Android 17 and Android 18. However, in my future, Trunks already killed them. 17 and 18. At least we're getting creative with the grayscale. Still immensely fucking late. So yeah, th this all happened on that one. It wasn't the dark timeline, the one that we don't have any events of. It's the one originally where Trunks went to and from the future after deactivating the androids, but Cell created a new timeline by jumping back and ended up in our timeline, so oops. Oh, it's always this fucking piss easy. Oop, nope, can't do that one. I guess it helps that Trunks doesn't have a frame one fucking signature skill, so that's convenient. Again, if anyone wants to correct me, I don't... I'm pretty sure that Piccolo's command grab uh, signature is like pretty much frame one. And if it's not, it's pretty fucking close. But yeah, I will definitely say that Travis does do a pretty half-decent Imperfect Cell voice. Like, honestly, you could tell me it is still Damien. I, I would believe you at a glance. Like, there's definitely, like, minute differences. Like, it's less gruff than Damien's. No, I literally just landed that game. Thank you. Well, I actually get the... No damage uh, requirement. Maybe. Frame trap. 
I wonder if you can actually use Drain Life Cell to keep yourself above the threshold for, um, getting low damage. LOL. It's free real estate. It really is. I don't think you can heal yourself after you're dead, too. Oh my god. I just had... Oh, Jesus. I was remember remembering the thing about, uh, rats at the beginning of the game. I should show off that fucking Mega Lord cringe from Omega back in the day. But that being said, though, um, like it was discussed before, no, not everything is now Travis. Like, there's a lot of grunts that are just, like, there's a lot of battle cries and grunts that are still taken straight from BT3. Like, a lot of, like, generic, uh, physical attacks. Uh, I'm not sure why. I can only assu assume Spike was being lazy. I mean, that's not an unfair assessment, to be completely honest here. <clears throat> Excuse me.